All right, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rechok, Kadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who do rule well. Peace and salutations, her hope for the elect out here pushing this truth and sincerity. All right, the water, we love y'all, we appreciate y'all through the spirit. All right, um, it's your brother Dawa Dawa from the GMS camp in Atlanta, here to give you, uh, you know, Abrak Design, another edifying uh, lesson. Um, just, you know, blowing the trumpet, you know, because we're in the year of the prophecies. All right, and part of that prophecy is the mark of the beast. So just a quick example of what the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip, can do for you. Uh, can, it's like it can do for Esau and do and what it's made to do to you and, you know, how it can affect, affect your life and what it's used for. I'm just going to show you a quick video, um, you know, and, uh, you know, just, you know, this, this is what it's used for. You know, this is what Esau is going to use it for, a prime example. Authorities just releasing brand new evidence in the Seminole Heights murder. Search warrants revealing stacks of new information. ABC Action News anchor Paula Grone going through it all day long here, finding out what the accused killer was doing while police were looking for him, Paul. Yeah, pretty revealing, Jameson and Laura. Here it is, the search warrants, confidential until today. And tonight, the key evidence emerging, a wide digital trail from Hal Donaldson III's iPhone, his internet searches, his GPS locations that prosecutors tonight say puts him right at the scene of all four Seminole Heights murders at the time of the crimes. Two days after Hal Donaldson III appeared in court for a competency hearing, the state attorney releasing a document dump of search warrants after media attorneys sued for the right to see them. The documents reveal police seized Donaldson's cell phone records and internet activity, including his Google history, which shows numerous searches for Seminole Heights killer and Seminole Heights during the time when police were looking for him. Prosecutors also obtained Donaldson's GPS locations from his phone, using information from his apps that were, quote, always collecting information, including Uber and the weather company. The documents say the GPS coordinates placed Donaldson at the location of all the homicides, including this passage, which states in part that Donaldson was, quote, in the area of Southeast Seminole Heights on October 7th, 8th, and the 27th, and within an hour of the first three homicides. Action Air 1 live over that McDonald's in Ybor City. The search warrant also reveals that a witness whose home Donaldson was staying in during the time of the murders would, quote, leave home in the middle of the night. But the state attorney did not release everything today, redacting crucial sections, including this mention of 79 Internet activities with a website that is blacked out, all during the time when four innocent people were randomly killed and terror reigned on the streets of Tampa. And we are still going through these documents tonight and coming up at six, what these search warrants also reveal that Donaldson was searching for on the Internet the day he was arrested at that McDonald's and the web history that prosecutors tonight say shows Donaldson watching his reign of terror unfold online. You see action news. So, hey, that's just going to show you, like, you, you see how much information Esau tried to gather, gather on people, man? You know what I'm saying? That's why that movie uh, Snowden shows you, like, you know, he was telling y'all, they watching y'all, man. Big brother watching y'all. You know, that all seeing eye they watching y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, when they do they 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 symbols out there with the eye in the back of the pyramid, you know what I'm saying? And that's big brother, man. You know what I'm saying? That's that's Esau. You know what I'm saying? They they watching y'all. Why do you think they call him Big Brother, man? Because Esau came out first before Jacob, you know? Actually, but um before we get that scripture, um, you know, what what is the RFID microchip? It's the mark of the beast, man. It it it, it pinpoints your location at at certain times. You know what I'm saying, well, all the time. Like they have direct um positioning of you anywhere you are when you have the RFID uh, microchip. And mainly this guy was he had it in his cell phone and any the any other uh device, even like the Uber, like has um you know certain cars might have uh the microchip in it. You know what I'm saying. Um, you know, because of the computer, yeah, it's people's watches, you know what I'm saying, you know, any type of electronic device with that RFID microchip in it, they're tracking you, you, you heard them say that they looked up his, um, his Google records and all his history, the shit that he was searching, stuff like that, going back, like, 
probably probably through hundreds and thousands of his searches, man, trying to see what he's looking at. You know what I'm saying? The GPS location at each time, man. They know where you're at at each given time, man. That is dangerous, man. All right? Now, niggas like that need to be tracked. You know what I'm saying? Well, nobody need to be tracked, but niggas like that, they needed, you know, it, it was good for him, to, the Heavenly Father put him uh, as a prime example to be tracked. Is what I'm saying. It was through the spirit. You know, he put him as a prime example to be tracked so he can get uh, found, man, for doing that wicked shit he was doing. You know, um, and, and at the same time, the Heavenly Father had him execute um judgment on four other people, man. You know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, you could just look at him and tell he was bugged out and possessed, man. You can just look at him. Like, he's possessed by some type of demon, man, you know, to go out and do that type of shit. But that's the reason why they want to track you because they, they, they fear that everybody's like that, man. They fear that, the elite fear that everybody is like that guy, that one guy, you know? So this is Revelation chapter 13, verse 9. It says, if any man have, oh, so like, this is Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. It says, and he causes all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And we already know, man, eld hey, the apostles and elders at Great Millstone have been blowing that trumpet for over a decade, over uh, a quarter century, man. So, you already know what the RFID microchip is. It, it, it is the micro the beast. You know what I'm saying? They want, they want to be able to do what they do to, to this nigga, to everybody, but they want to do it easier you know what i'm saying they want to put that chip inside of you all right because people know that they're being tracked and they're able to do commit crimes or or do all you know types of things um or they just make sure they just don't have a cell phone around them you know what i'm saying or they're not around um uh, video surveillance but it doesn't matter because they want to put the microchip inside you all right so this is a prime example of what they're going to use that um technology for man all right and that technology is the mark of the beast all right so you get that, man. You're all set. Like the Heavenly Father said, you have no, there's no salvation for you, man. You know what I'm saying? If you get that mark. Right? So, you know, um, because I made, I made a comment earlier that big, or uh, statement that Big Brother is watching, you know? So I'm just going to get that really quick, quick in Genesis uh, chapter 25, uh, I believe verse not I say nine no 21 but I'm gonna go to 23 instead um this is uh Genesis chapter 25 verse 23 it says and the Lord said unto her two nations are in thy womb and two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels and the one people shall be stronger than the other people and the elder shall serve the younger all right and when, chapter, uh, verse 24, and when her days be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. And the first came out red all over like in hairy garment. And they call his name Esau. So, so-called white man is Esau. Because it's, it's Jacob and Esau who are twins. And they came out of Rebekah, right? And um, they were already fighting in, the, in, the, in the, her womb already. And the Lord said, two nations of people are in thy womb. Two manner of people are in two different people are in thy womb, right? And they're already fighting. So to this day, who fights who fights the most? Jacob and Esau, man. You know, you you so called black Native Latin uh, Native American and Latino men and women, man. All right, you're Jacob and Esau are the so called white people, so called white people. All right, the Edomites, man. You know what I'm saying? And they're they're. They're, they're the first came out red. He's the first. Esau is the first. So they're the older brother. Alright? And they're the evil twin. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And they, they're no longer brothers anymore because they're no, the, no longer brother and sisters anymore because what? They they didn't inherit the blessing, man. They went off and sold their birthright. So they're no longer our, our people. They Well, they were never our people, actually. But, you know, you know they they were brothers so-called brothers in the womb you know um but even in the womb they wasn't brothers the heavenly father said two nations two separate nations two manner of people man 
So they're never our brothers, man. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, if you look at it from that 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 point of view, you know, because they you know it's were twins and they came out of the same woman, you know what I'm saying? Then, yeah, you know. And it said the elder shall serve the younger. You know what I'm saying? Which is Esau going into slavery when uh, Yahweh Shai come back. You know what I'm saying? But, like I said, they're big brother, right? Because they're that's what they call themselves. That's what people call them because they say big brother's watching. Well, look, that's a prime example of why Big Brother is watching right there. You know what I'm saying? So that's it, man. You know, I just wanted to show brothers, brothers and uh, sisters the the video. You know what I'm saying? And I'll show the video of, of, of you know, hopefully it's a Abarat Zai. Lord willing, it was a prime example for you and very edifying to show you what they want to use that technology for. You know what I'm saying? And it's not just for so you can stop committing crimes and, you know, they can find your kid when they get kidnapped or anything like that. This is for them to track you indefinitely, you know, to know where you're at at all times and what you're doing at all times. Big Brother is watching and they want to know all day, every day what you're up to. It's like, you know, it's creepy, man. It's none of your business, man. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's no business for you to know what my daughter is doing, like, you know what I'm saying, or my son, or my nephew, or, you know what I'm saying, my kids are doing, like, you know what I'm saying, my, my mother, like, it's no, it's not your business, man, you know what I'm saying, in the bathroom and shit, like, you know what I'm saying, like, they know where you're at at all times, man, that is creepy, man, all right, if you don't have a problem with that, then, I don't even know what to say to you, you're just bugged out, man, if you don't have a problem with that, you're bugged out, man, you know what I'm saying, so, hey, if you're a so-called black Native American or in, um, Latino man or woman, you're a Hebrew Israelite, thus saith the Bible, go to YouTube and look up Great Millstone Israelites to be completely edified all things. Lord willing, you will um, edify in this in this video. And with that, I want to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechach, Dash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, who taught me this truth. Peace and salutation for the hopeful elect out here pushing this truth and sincerity, all right? Double honors to the apostles and elders, man been doing it for 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 a long time man all right they've had they've had a long walk man it's finally almost over man all right so shalom